Life's real, save something. I need 10 more hours in a day. And when I'm feeling stuck, something else comes up. Sometimes I wanna have fun, but I can't. Things, everything's gonna change. Gonna change when you surrender. Get rid of bad people in your life. Hey guys, good morning everybody. Welcome back to our channel. How are you guys doing today? I am in the kitchen fixing my little one's lunch. He did eat a school lunch Monday, I mean Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. He came home yesterday. Um, today is Tuesday, by the way. Happy Tuesday, guys. He came home Tuesday. I mean, he came home yesterday and said that um, his stomach was bothering him. And then he started going to the restaurant. Yeah, um, if you guys been following me, you all know that because of his stomach issues that he can't he can't really eat everything. Um, it's certain foods, and he eats. He eats meat, he eats beans, potatoes, vegetables. But it's certain things that he can't have that aggravate his stomach. Like if it's a lot of, like a whole lot of things with a red sauce, or if it's like a rich, rich food or a spicy food or something mm -hmm. like hey, that. Hey, Mitch. <laughs> That's my brother, y'all. So I'm just starting back fixing his lunch. And then if it's the day, like I said, he can have a school lunch. Mom. Yes. I'm still eating peanut butter for um, breakfast. Okay, I didn't know you wanted a breakfast too. You want breakfast too? Yes. Okay. But well, I'm, get two more pieces of bread out, please. But I'm going to eat it with something. So, yeah. So, that's just, you know, like I said, that's just how we're going to do it. Um, did you hear what I said? I said if you... um. If they have something for lunch that you can eat, you can eat a school lunch, okay? okay? But if it's something that you can't eat, just eat your peanut butter and jelly, okay? Sometimes they buy a free buy too. I know. That's why I say if it's something that you can't eat that day, just eat a school lunch, okay? I mean, if it's something that you can't eat, eat your school lunch. If you can't eat it, eat your lunch from home. They'll let you do that, okay? Because I don't know what they have from day to day. And you won't know until you get there. Until you get in a lunchroom. Alright, well you got two peanut butter jelly sandwiches. And I gave you some of these greasy puffs. Ooh. And then you got a fruit. Ooh. One of these. And these are good. It's peanut butter on them. A Pediasure and one of your little. Water. This is a water with. um. I put a little mm -hmm. bit of this in there. Yeah, that's why Just I a little drink bit. It. Recess. No, I'm going to let you bring your water bottle. Throw that away. No, you can drink that recess. But I'm going to send you your water bottle. No, I'm going to send you just a regular water for recess. It's too hot. Put your socks on, child. So, so that's what we got. I need a double bottle. Well, you got to take them off. You got to untie them and put them on your feet first. So, I'm going to have to go to the store today because I was not, like, you know, prepared for lunch because he hasn't been having an hour lunch. So, I'm going to have to go to Wally World today. I got to go get some napkins for the lunch because I don't want him using up all the paper towels. And I have to go get him some more peanut butter and jelly bread drinks, you know, stuff that I'm going to have to keep on hand for the little one. And when I go to Sam's, when I say birthday is Saturday, I mean Friday. So I'm probably going to go to Sam's Friday. And then I'll get him some more, you know, snacks and healthy snacks and stuff. Fruit, all of that he can bring to lunch. I'm putting this at the bottom. I'll give you really nice to Miss today. Wasn't you nice to Miss Celia yeah. yesterday? Okay, because sometimes when you say that, it kind of scares me. Because you be like, I'm going to be really nice today. Like, was you not nice yesterday? No. I was super nice yesterday. Okay. Let me just top off this thing. Could have sworn the second top came off of here like this thing. It's probably all here so tight. Because I know it came off. I think Deontay just tied it on that extra tight. I can't do it. What? That the top. But they might be red beans with that fish. Well, y'all just had beans Friday. I don't know. It changes every Tuesday. And Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. 
All right, you guys, pause for a minute and go check out my Cook With Me on my other channel. I did some jazzed up Salisbury steaks that you guys have been requesting for me to share. How I fixed them, I made some corn on the cob, my made mashed potatoes, and of course the gravy with the Salisbury steaks. My other channel name is Southern Family Vlogs. The links will be in the description box below. So y'all go check that video out. Subscribe, hit that button so you guys will not miss any uploads over there as well. We're back. Take this off our cool. Mm. Are you right, for real? Thank you. I just took off my jacket. I'm in the car. What you looking for? Why they got all these receipts all in the car? I don't know. That's I see cute. them on the door. They got them back there. I see them clean the car. That's real. I think it's real. When I get home, I'm gonna come home and wrap my hair. I y'all see, I did my hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking cheap today. Did my hair, did my makeup. Cause I had to do, I had to record this video because it's important to, to show my makeup. And I'm like, y'all want to see my makeup, girl? I don't do much. I promise I don't. <laughs> One step or two, if you count my brow, me brushing my brows, two steps, they be out here walking. Oh, that's right. Get it in, honey. I would have walked to it if I wasn't busy this morning. <laughs> I did not go walking this morning. My body can feel it. So, madam, is there anything you yeah, I need to be doing, but I ain't in the mood right now. You ain't in the mood to walk? I'm not right now. Uh, what are we cooking today? I don't know what we cooking today. I'm not cooking. Oh, uh, well, I'm not cooking, so well, I guess we not cooking well, today. Well, we on our own. That, see, see that conversation? There Look you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yep, we on our own. And then I might decide to get in there and cook something. Who knows? But at, at right now, at 9.30... I have no plan. 9 30 a.m. I have no plans on cooking dinner. I might decide to go in there and fix up them salberry steaks and boil some corn. Then I might be like, <laughs> yesterday I fried me a burger. So, I don't know. I don't know. I know I got to finish editing that other video. That's why I got two videos. Then it'd be too hot to be in that kitchen. Yes, it do. That's why yes. yesterday I ate me a salad and some macaroni. A bowl of macaroni. Well, first I ate me a bowl of salad. And then round table picked some macaroni, so I picked some, I ate a bowl of macaroni. <laughs> and I was pleased. Made burger with some homemade fries, and it was fully dressed and loved it. And then some people say, I hear people say it's too hot to eat. No, too well. It was too hot. For, it was too hot for me to eat because I just didn't. I don't know. See, she really don't. Know. I just didn't. She I just know. didn't. I just didn't have. I had an appetite, but it was just too hot. It's like the heat took everything, but I, I was drinking a whole lot of uh, water and cran, cranberry juice and stuff, but it was just hot, like I was smothering. And I don't like when it get this hot. Well, Mama, you was dead or something. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna get hotter. Uh, they have a lot of corn out here. They must have jury duty. A court? Well, nothing. Just court. You know, they always have court. Plus, it's Tuesday. Mm -hmm. They got court, I think. Uh, and then probably some of them getting Monday, Tuesdays. Call tags. It's the end of the month. I mean, the middle of the month. They either gonna, if you, they getting a court tag now, they late. Because you gotta get them by the end of the month. 
Yes, they probably just got caught today. As you know, it's Tuesdays. Tuesdays is their biggest court dates. Tuesdays and Thursdays. <laughs> District 1, District 2. Sheriff departments. <laughs> Sheriff be taking up a lot of them, mm. and they don't even be doing no work. Mm. Is that handicap? No nope. reserve. Reserve district six, district seven. Mm. Handicap, handicap. We got handicap tied. Council clerk. They finna leave, but I don't know where they park. What's that? Reserve district ten, district eleven. Mm, mm, mm. Goodness gracious. But I know I ain't going in the parking garage. Like I said, I don't I just don't like they parking garage. Mm, mm, mm. She said it like she sure gotta go in, y'all. <laughs> like she gotta go in here. I don't have to go in here, but yeah, I said mm mm mm. All okay, these calls. What them two folks that I just said? Where you at, lady? And guy, okay, there you go. So I'm finna follow y'all and see where y'all going. Yeah. They ain't going nowhere. They probably walk down here. Well, maybe they can walk into their car. He got his keys in his hand. Mm. <laughs> y'all going Hmm. <sighs> Transport for the only empty parking lot is for the transport people, the sheriff department. The <laughs> so I'm like, dang, well, they must have some high coat. I guess I don't know about right now. I guess they do, man. They got a bench in there where you can sit down on that car. Think they get there, but they out of luck. She was finna get there. They got a place in there you can sit down, huh? Mama, how many times have you been to this courthouse? <laughs> you don't been to this courthouse often. Often. Hey, man. How you doing? Well, if somebody else would have pulled in here, I promise you I would have did a Medea. I would have been in jail today. Today I would have just been going to jail in, the, in front of the courthouse. Oh, me too, but I would have got out. I would have like, got you out. God see damn it, you seen me coming here. Yep, in front of the courthouse. Mm -hmm. And they got cameras all out here too? Yes, indeed. Today would have been a day I wouldn't have mind, baby. Mm. <laughs> and it's hot. Mm. Y'all got all kind of court going on. I didn't know that was a court building. Mama, that's their big court building. That's what they be doing them dead row people and stuff. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yep, this is a little minor stuff here. This one over here where they be having them high legal cases. You know how they be having like them when them um judges or them different, you know, people be getting in trouble like that. Them high, them high business people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. All right, y'all. That that's a little big deal. Big Bill, right? He said his family from South Carolina, though. All right, we're done. Got my paper. Mama was like, "You done already? All this?" And I was in there for what two minutes? Yeah, all this. We got it. Money is hot. So they notarized it and everything. So all I got to do is get this to match the on. That's it. I met this guy in there. <laughs> he was the police officer for me. That um, he was like, "Where you work?" And I told him, "Like they actually know what you're coming in there for." Uh, and I told him, "He was like, where you work?" And I told him, "He was like, oh, I need you to give me some real tickets." I'm like, "Never know when you're gonna need a friendly police officer. I might get a ticket one day. I might need a friendly police officer. <laughs> Be like, hey, hey, Sam, hey, family." 
never know, man. You never know who you're going to meet. And then this couple in there had just got married yesterday at the courthouse. And they was coming in there to pick up they, um, they thing. And I was like, I said, oh, congratulations. Y'all just got married. She said, yeah, we just got married yesterday. Let me get out of here and take this out. And I told him, and the, the lady that was sitting behind the desk, and I told her, I said, I used to say, if I wasn't married by 40, I was giving up. I said, and I just turned 41. And now I'm like, child, please. And she say, oh, she say, your season is coming. The lady behind her, that black lady you saying? She say, oh, your season is coming. She say, just wait. She say, God going to give you just what he have for you in his due time. And everybody been telling me that. Everybody has been saying that to me. And you know how you be getting those further confirmations? Yeah, I know. You can be asking for... You can be asking... Things... In the wrong way, you know. Mm. You gotta be careful with your act. Yeah, I, oh, I used to ask for stuff. That's what that, that is, that church right there. Yeah, I used to ask for certain things a long time ago, but I learned. Is that the place right there? You were talking about... Yeah, right. I don't see nobody voting, though. He said, I'll be standing outside. What he do? Yeah, no, because they do the. He was registering people to vote, but mm -hmm. I ain't see. I just seen him. I ain't seen anybody else out there. They doing their voting thing. You know how they be trying to. Which is a good thing, because you don't have a lot of. You know, you ain't got a lot of black men nowadays that be wanting to help with, you know, voters' registration. But I'm already registered. You know, I'm registered already. I just needed a new card. But um, oh that was a lot. Anyway, oh, uh, what was we saying? Oh yeah, Mama said you gotta be careful what you ask for when you're praying. And you're right. Of late, usually when I pray, honestly, I be praying for other people, and I've said that, and that's the thing for me. Like I pray harder for other people than I do myself. But I had somebody tell me that I still have to, you know. I still have to pray for myself because of stuff that I'm going through. But I've just always been one of them other people. I'm praying. I pray for my kids. I pray for my mom and my family. And I pray harder for them than I do myself a lot of times. Um, and I don't regret it or nothing. It's just, but I don't pray for, I don't know. I don't pray for, some people be praying for selfish things. I don't. Like, I'm just, I'm human like everybody else. But I just don't pray for like stuff like husbands and stuff like that. I'm not one of them people who gonna be sitting here tomorrow. Oh, I'm finna pray for a husband. No, mm -mm. I used to do that. I did that before. They <laughs> did that before, and I was. Do you remember that? And I was like, oh, God, I just feel like I'm so tired of just being lonely, and I want to get married, and I want to be this, and I want to be that. And I wasn't listening to him because God didn't send me that person. You see, you got the wrong one. That's why I say you gotta be careful mm -hmm. what you pray for. Because God, but God didn't send. He did not send me that person for me to marry him. That person was sent into my life as a lesson, and that's the thing. Because some people be like, you know, well, God sent me this person, and He could have. He could have easily sent that person, but He could have just sent that person to you as a lesson, not a blessing. Just like friends, you know how you got people that friends that come in your life. And they don't stay in your life long. And they was just there just for that season. And for that to teach you that lesson. And once that season was over, they was gone. And you learned your lesson. Right? So I don't no more. All I, I say, hey, God, whoever you have for me, you're going to send for me. When it's time for you to send him to me. When we are both equally yoked and ready for each other. And until then, I just enjoy my peace. <laughs> and I have fun. Um, yeah, I do. I have fun. Because I, I know, you know, I know. 
And sometimes you just, sometimes you know it's just not the right time. And sometimes it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. Some people will be, some people will be honest and say, oh no, marriage ain't for me. Just like some people say they know kids not for them. And I used to hear people say that and I couldn't understand like, how do you not want to have kids? Like, how do you not want to have somebody, you know, but that was when I was young. Like I was in my, like I was in my early twenties when I used to think that way. Um, yeah, some you know. people don't want to be married. Some people don't want to date. Some people don't want to have children. They just want to be them. Yeah, be by themselves. And I understand that now. I do. But like I said, this, it, and I think everybody went through that when they was younger. That they didn't understand. You not meant to understand everything. We're not God. We're not meant to understand everything. But you know, when you're younger, you have questions, and you be like, "How can this? Or why is this? Or, um, you know?" Because like some people get in situations that they like with me i get people that ask me you know how can how can you just be okay where you're at and you know you not in your own like your own own place like by yourself and or why don't you this or why don't you want to do this because i can't see just doing this or i can't see just having that um and i understand it for some people some people they want to, like, when they graduate high school and college and they want to get far away from family as possible because they had a bad upbringing or they just want to just move to a different area. But I know a lot of people in the South, and I'm, being, I'm from people that I've spoken to, a lot of people in the South, they kind of get caught up in just being in the South. And this is where their roots are at and they don't want to change it. So they have, they, you know, their grandparents was here, their parents was here. They siblings are here, they're here. So if they do move, they don't move far or whatever, or they stay in that area. Like they just be to where, cause like in our neighborhood, you see a lot of families. It's like, cause even like with our neighbors, our neighbors live where they live. His mom used to live across the street before they was in that house. The other brother used to live there. Um, even with her kids, they live within the same area, not on the same street, but they like within five minutes of each other. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's a lot. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And it's a lot of families like that. That's just, you know, in Mississippi, period. Because even like where my own grew up at on that street, it's nothing but family. It's like a brother, a sister, a brother in law, sister in law. The sister live here. The son live here the, to where you had your whole block party um and that's through our whole neighborhood and i know i talk to my kids about that and i'm like look, when y'all graduate college like for Toledo and Alicia, when y'all graduate college if y'all have to move home temporarily do that but get you a, a job to where you comfortable in your career that you comfortable in and move not saying i don't want my kids around me but move and explore things in other areas do things in other areas because you know how it is in Mississippi. You know how stuff here is on the coast. Even if you they live in Mississippi, but they move up North Mississippi. You know how it is here. So you're not missing anything. And you go to Louisiana all the time. You might find somewhere in another southern part of Louisiana or in the western part of Louisiana or, you know, anywhere else. Um, and a lot of people be like, oh, move to Atlanta, move to Florida. But everybody moving to Florida and Louisiana. I mean, Florida and Atlanta. And it's so packed. They got other places you can move to. Like, broaden your horizon. See what else is out there in the world. I want to be able to do that. Before I leave this world, I want to live other places and do other things. Because if not, you're going to be in your 70s. And you're going to be sitting on the couch. And you're going to be like, I never got to do that. Am I lying? You're going to be like, I never got to do that. I never got to experience that. I, I but I moved home, but I moved across the street when I got married, I, I moved, but I was just right across the street. I just was right across the street. See, she would see that's and that's just it. When and she, then I walked back to my mama's house, she doing shit, walk over there by us. And yeah. then when my husband died, I moved back home to take care of my mom. So. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. You know, I love having my grandmother in my life growing up. And I told you guys that in that last video. Even with my kids, my kids grew up with my grandmother. Philip was the only one who didn't get to see her. 
And I love that. And I love that my kids get to grow up with my mom and their grandmother and even Philip, you know. But it's like, at, like I told them, at some point, you want to change that dynamics. Because if not, it's going to always be the same thing. Because like I told my mom, if I get married tomorrow and if I move far away, it's not that I'm not going to take care of my mama. Hell, she can move with me. I don't care. She can come with me or I can still come visit her. But I just don't want to live the rest of my life here in Mississippi. And it's not a man taking me away because I have no man in my life. I can just move by myself and then not be any man associated with me. It's just you, you should want your children to, ha you know, have more than what you have. I want my kids to have way more than what I have. I want them be to be able to see this world. Deontay want to go to Japan. I have a cousin that's in Japan right now. He wants to go visit Japan and I want him to do that. He works hard. He has no kids. He has no responsibilities other than his bills. So it's like, I want my son to be able to go to Japan. Um, Alicia want to be able to go to Europe one day and want to go to Germany. And I want her to be able to do that one day. Like, I have cousins that was in the military and I have cousins that work with Red Cross and she get to see the world. And she said that was the best experience that she's ever had. And she was able to see the world and she was still able to help her parents out. Huh? She send them money. She take care of them. She still do things for them. She come home and visit often, but she's able to see the world and everything else that's out there. And that's the same thing she tells her daughter. So it's like, that's what I want for my kids. So I don't want you guys to think, hey, she's just trying to hurry up and get rid of her kids. No, I love my children, but I want them to see what's out here in this world. Because it's more than just Mississippi Gulf Coast. It is. I promise it is. It's a whole big old world out there. Um, you know, I do. I want them to be able to see all of that. And that's what you should want for your kids, right? Mm-hmm. Listen to her. Mm -hmm. She's saying that because she like, she's she saying that because she's like, hell no. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't finna go now, nowhere. See, that's her saying that. <laughs> that's what she not, said. That's uh, her she, saying No, because she said, mm -hmm, you can say that if you want. That's her saying. That's <laughs> not me saying. She said, you say, can say that you if you want. You know my words is, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. that's, that's my word. That's uh -huh. her word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she lying. She lying. That's her word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's my word. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's her That's her word. Mm-hmm. So you can take it out of yes or uh, no. So <laughs> that's my favorite. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and get my mail and pick up some milk. Mm. Go to the bank, huh? Why you didn't go when we was at the courthouse? You say yes, go that way. But they had, Close. they still, you could have just said I gotta go to the bank. That's bathroom. all right. Oh, mm -mm. Jesus. I wanted to get up out of there. What? You were like you was getting a ticket. See, I can't take her nowhere. I, well. no I can't I take her. I wasn't going to use their bathroom later. Y'all, please save me. If y'all love me, save me. My mama just said she was not going to go use the courthouse bathroom, but she want to use Walmart bathroom. The courthouse bathroom is going to be a little bit more cleaner than Walmart's bathroom. <laughs> oh, my mama, bless her heart and soul, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my lordy. Okay. Well, I don't have nothing else to talk to y'all about at the moment. Um... I had to go run in there because I needed to get Philip something. But you know what? I'm not going to Walmart because if I get something, I'm going to want to get something else. And I'm not going to be tempted today. So I'm going to stop at the dollar store where I take it off of work. And um, I'm going to go get because I need to get him them little Kool-Aid, them little um, nest, them, them sugar-free Hawaiian punch package, packages to go in his water so i'm gonna just let her go run in the dollar store and pick that up because like i said if i go in this store i'm gonna get something else that i don't need but i'll be back everything is gonna work out fine everything is gonna be okay everything is gonna come on time all i gotta do is live today everything is gonna end just right everything is gonna fall in place don't worry about you and